Welcome to today's Daily Dose of Amuna Heals of the Mashiach. The Torah refers to the end of days and calls it Ikve de Mashiach, the heels of the Mashiach. The Arizal points out that a heel is seemingly an unimportant part of the body that does not appear to contribute to any sense of our higher spiritual or intellectual faculties. The whole body steps on it and actually steps on dirt. Nevertheless, the heel is essential since all of our body relies on it and stands on it. Let's see that the past generations, what they did is they laid down the groundwork for the upcoming redemption, Bezat Hashem. Our generation is considered to represent the heels of Mashiach. Our job is to complete the process of preparation for redemption tying those last loose ends together in order to usher in the Mashiach Bezrat Hashem. The Shomer Munim Zatzal teaches that this generation has the opportunity to rectify all past misdeeds of all past lives that that we lived since the beginning of time. And it's always darkest before the dawn. Our generation is, fa- is faced with intense nisyonot and temptations. But by overcoming such challenges, we're able to uplift all things past and welcome the redemption. There's an entire divine master plan that we're not privy to see. And in our, fi- uh, our uh, finiteness, as human beings, we see only countless points and elements but we don't see the common ground. But each minute element, it's vital to the overall picture. Let's just picture for a minute an ant working tirelessly to move a grain of dirt in front of her so that she can move forward. Her vision is blocked by what lies in front of her. Her load is minuscule compared to the mound of earth piled around a a tree stump just a few feet in front of her. She can't even fathom the fact that beyond 50 feet from her, there lies a tremendously complex forest. She sees and she focuses only that which is right in front of her. Yet overcoming that individual challenge is crucial in order to enable her to reach that forest along with the other ants. She, we may not even see, just like the ant, the big picture. But let's be rest assured. There's something bigger and greater out there. We have to focus our individual challenges and our victories and trust that by completing our unique tikkun, we are moving forward towards our final destination. Let's trust the divine process. Let's wait patiently, complete our tikkun, and overcome those personal nisyonot in order to help usher the geula as it unfolds before our very eyes. Have a great Amunafil day.